Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create. Neon glowing spark animation in after effect. Something like that. So, let's get started. Open After Effect. Create a new composition called Main Comp. Set resolution to 1920 by 1080. Set the frame rate to 60. Also set the duration of the timeline to 10 seconds long. In this animation our first step is to write a text. Go to toolbar select text. And type a text whatever you want. Now place this text in the center of the composition with the help of a line window. Now in this animation we just need a stroke text, not fill text. For the stroke go to character window. Press this swap icon. To make this stroke, I use the stroke value to 3. Also, I use Bieber's Neuer font for this animation. Also adding color on this text. Like that. Now adding random fade in and fade out animation on this text. Select text layer. Go to add. And select opacity. Set opacity value to zero. Click on the drop down icon of the range selector. And set the keyframe to start. And drag this keyframe to one second. Then go to around three seconds. Change the start value to 100. Select second keyframe. Right click go to keyframe assistant. And select easy ease. For smooth animation. Now I'm moving a little bit on the timeline. And select the text layer. Hit ctrl plus shift plus d to split this layer. Press u to reveal the keyframes. Delete this existing keyframe. Now press alt plus click on the start. For opening the expression bar. And adding an expression like that. Now we are adding random fading to this text. Select the first layer of the text. Click on the advance. Then on the randomize order. Then click on the second layer of the text again go to advance. And set a keyframe on the random seed. Then go all the way to 10 seconds and change the value to random seed to 100. Now this is our text animation. Select both the text layer and pre-compose them. By pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C and call it text. Now we are adding some glow effect on this text. Go to effect and preset. Search drop shadow. And apply it and make some changes. Like that. Then duplicate this drop shadow effect by pressing Ctrl plus D. Again, making some changes. Now adding a glow effect. Go to effect search glow. Drag this on the text layer. Change the glow radius to 55 and intensity to 1.3. Again, pre-compose this text composition. Call text with glow effect. Make sure hit check on the move all attributes. Adding some more effects on this text. For glowing, duplicate this layer. Change the opacity to 30. Go to effect and preset and search radical fast blur and apply it and make some changes like that again duplicate this second layer place this layer below of all layers and change the opacity to 12 go to effects search gaussian blur Change the blur amount to 50. Now adding lines behind of this text. Press the transparency grid. Go to the toolbar. 
select pen tool and draw lines something like that and drag this shape layer below of all layers and doing something like that now pre-compose all shape layer called it lines now adding little bit drop shadow on the lines layer something like that again pre-compose all these layers called it inside text now create background right click new select solid call it bg adding a gradient ramp effect on this background solid layer go to effect and preset search gradient ramp and apply it and change the color of the points something like that now adding a black text behind this text layer open project and drag the text layer into the main comp and add a freezer frame keyframe like that also apply fill effect to make this black also drag this below to the inside text layer make this text as a reflecting text select inside text layer right click go to transform and select flip vertically and drag the reflected text layer like that also drag this layer below to the text layer now create a glowing floor drag this image layer from the project window check the 3d icon and adjust this floor image like that and adding some effect apply tint effect and add curve effect on this floor and drag this image layer below to the inside text layer create a new adjustment layer drag this on the top of the inside text layer on this adjustment layer we apply compound blur effect go to effect and preset search compound blur drag this on the adjustment layer change the blur layer to the floor change the blur value to 40 also adjust the floor image something like that again pre-compose all these layers instead of bg layer call it inside all elements adding a null object and make this null object as a parent of the inside all element layers and check on the 3d icon of both layers now adding a scale keyframe on the null object our inside all element layer behave the same as null object because we make null object layer as a parent to this layer that's why now create a new adjustment layer called it camera lens blur for the blur effect Go to effect and preset. Search camera lens blur. Apply this on adjustment layer. Go to first frame. Add a keyframe on the blur radius. Set value to 50 and go to around 2 seconds on the timeline. And change the blur radius value to 0. Here is our final text animation. Now adding a spark particle animation. Go to text with glow effect composition. Then create a new solid layer, called particle. Go to effect and preset search particle world. And apply this on particle layer. 
Select particle. Change the color of the particle same as the text color. Like that. Change birth rate to 0 0.3. Go to physics. Change animation to fractal omni. Then go to floor. Change the floor action to bounce. And change the floor position to 0 0.08. Now add a keyframe on the birth rate. Go to around 1 second. Change the birth rate to 0. Then move forward in the timeline. Then change the birth rate to 0 0.3. Again move forward and set the birth rate value to 0. Also change the longevity value to 3. Now adding some glow effect on this particle effect. Select text layer copy all the effects. And paste on the particle layer. Here is our final particle effect. Now just duplicate this particle layer and place this on the starting point of the text appearing. Something like that. Here is our final neon glowing spark effect animation. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.